good morning so i have an order for a rainbow ribbon trim tutu that i need to do so i'm gonna get that started if you want to see me make it stay tuned these are the colors that i'm going to be using for the tutu i have red i have pink i have purple yellow green and blue um i usually do orange but the customer didn't want orange they wanted red instead of orange and so this is for a three-year-old so the waist measurement for this is going to be about 18 it's gonna measure about 18 inch 17 to 18 inches and the length of it is going to be eight to nine inches and that's with the ribbon included so um the amount of tool that i'm gonna need for this is going to be 14 yards so i'm gonna divide that up among all six colors to get my 14 yards i have my ribbon that i'm gonna use and i'm gonna be using one and a half inch width um, single face satin ribbon i am using the um three-fourths non-roll elastic for the waist and the customer did not want a bow so i will not be putting a bow on this so i'm going to get this measure out and once i have it all cut i'm going to go to the sewing machine and i'll take you with me so i had to improvise where i measure my tool out because i didn't have enough room on my table so i cleaned off my coffee table and taped my yard stick there so i could get my right measurements for my tool so i had to improvise sometimes we got to do that I have to just separate the two pieces because it's actually two pieces in each color because I'm going to rotate them. So I'm going to get those separated and then we're going to the sewing machine to get it all put together. Well, I'm going to do my, my channel first and then I'll put the um, ribbon on. And so I have a box here that when I let my ribbon fall, it doesn't go in the floor. It's just a box that nothing goes into so that the ribbon won't hit the floor. And so I'm gonna start with um, my blue and I am going to speed this up because I have several colors to go through, but you'll still be able to see what I do. I'm gonna change my thread out. I know some people don't change their, um, they keep it on white. I'm just real funny about I just like stuff to be color coded. So I'm actually going to be doing the multiple colors. So that's I'm fine. I got this little um case here from Dollar Tree, and that's what I use for my sewing bobbins and my embroidery bobbins. It's a dollar from Dollar Tree. It's just a little utility case in the tool section at Dollar Tree. If you're trying to figure out how why to have your casing for your elastic little trick you can do to find out so you can take and put the elastic inside of here as if you were and you can sit it there and so that's a little way this is just a little strip i had cut off and that's a way to know how much you need so i'm going to have mine set at one inch for my stitch um width 
and then I'll have enough room to put my case in it. And if you are not good with a um, straight line, you can put a piece of tape on here and help to keep it lined up. So that's another tip. So now I'm just gonna fast track while I do this. Thank you so much for watching my video. Please like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you can know every time I upload a new video.